back again. Okay. <laughs> people and welcome back to love looks logic thanks so much for joining me once again so in the last video that I made I have been seriously thinking about downsizing in my lifestyle and so in this video I want to kind of dip my toe a little bit more and reducing certain things in this video I'll be sharing with you all six things that helped me when I reduced watching television so I don't know like where I'm being led but I have been thinking about um, removing or just eliminating watching TV all together the catalyst really was in a conversation that I have with my big brother when he mentioned that he was no longer watching TV and that he was just on complete hustle mode, that was all the motivation I needed to get started and move in this direction. So the first thing that happened to me was I had more time to achieve my personal goals. Getting those New Year's resolutions or anything that you had planned on achieving this year, you no longer have that distraction of TV in the way and you can just choose to dedicate your time to doing that whether they be short term or long term now is your time to actually do it you no longer have that excuse if you want things to change you definitely have to switch something up <sighs> so here's the part where <laughs> me devoting my time to be productive didn't go as planned on those occasions where i didn't want to read i didn't want to work on a personal project or i just wasn't in the space to do it i found myself gravitating more towards social media to pass the time by like i found myself doing it more than i normally would and that's something i didn't like about myself i don't like about myself that's certainly a blind spot that i am no longer blind to and even then i would sometimes get into a mindset where i'm kind of kicking my kicking myself just because i didn't use that time wisely and um somewhat feel paralyzed because i've slowed down my momentum and somewhat drifted but at the same time, it's about how you pull yourself out of those mindsets and kind of force yourself into those now uncomfortable situations. It could be something so simple, such as just sitting down away from the computer or just writing out your thoughts, journaling, and just kind of building your momentum back up to getting to the place that you were once before. I'll be honest, what I do currently to get out of that mind space doesn't always work for me, but I do want Want to start incorporating gravitating towards the Bible to kind of help me um, in those you know difficult situations with whatever I'm feeling and to try to find some kind of scripture or something to meditate on in those moments that bring back hope and positivity in my headspace and my in my environment completely let me know what you all do when you find yourself in a more of an unhealthy headspace and share those in the comments below so the third thing that happened to me was uh i read more books more books plus more imagination equals more creativity in a future i hope to share with you all all of the books that i've read so far so some of my quiet time has been filled with listening to audiobooks or actually sitting down to read more. I find it more entertaining than uh, actually watching a movie just because we have that freedom to create our own images and kind of paint the picture ourselves. I also chose to introduce audiobooks um, in my household. Finding a modest kids book to play in the background allows for my child also to um, sharpen her listening skills. Her reduction to television exposure has also been exercised, but not as much as mine. So call me strict if you want or not, but there are rules set in the household. The standing rule is she has to earn her tablet privileges by reading a physical book prior to indulging in no more than two hours of her tablet time. After that, she has the freedom to be as creative as she wants 
basically to entertain herself without relying on devices. I find this extremely helpful to the parents who buy toys and then complain about their kids not playing with their toys. I'm not judging, listen, I used to be that parent, <laughs> but I found that it is very imperative that we teach our kids how to live a more healthier lifestyle. I feel like teaching her, introducing her to this now is something that she can kind of fall into or fall back on whenever she feels like she's being overwhelmed with too much stuff. We as parents are just kind of um, giving our kids the tools that they need to succeed and thrive on their own. For Sky, she has started to turn back to the things that she already has access to. She has whipped out her art supplies for painting and putting up fresh art around the house. She's pulled out her toys that really haven't seen daylight since her birthday. <laughs> And that alone has helped us both really be present and really enjoy our time together after we've been in our separate corners doing our own thing. So the fourth thing that television or less television has helped me with is that I get more opportunities to really explore my own town. No More Television gave us opportunity to travel and enjoy and explore this beautiful country. Um, we have been granted our liberties back. I've had no desire to shop as much as I used to. Instead, it's been really about exploring and partaking in activities that can only be experienced here in this country. This has forced me to get out and be more active. We've been hiking a little and really enjoying the natural beauty that comes with it. I can go to a mall in almost any country and what does that really say or show for my experience? Not not just mine, but my and my daughter's experience here in this country. Like how does that really encourage her to travel more and really enjoy the freedoms of one, traveling and two, being another being in another country surrounded by a different culture. If we are not doing anything different than what we used to do back in the state, it has been extremely rewarding and I wouldn't change it for a thing. In my opinion, I feel like this is a way to understand people, learn about the, their culture, and truly, ultimately respect people's differences. So the fifth thing that's happened is I get better sleep. Let me tell y'all, ooh, for some reason I used to believe that staying up late was the way to go. Like working on something that you're extremely passionate about is the way to go. And I'm not saying it's like completely wrong, but it's supposed to be temporary. Our bodies are meant to function off of a good amount of rest. And I understand that some of us are in situations where it requires us to stretch ourselves a little bit more and sacrifice some sleep to get certain things accomplished. But those are temporary situations for long-term results. I thought that was my life for the rest of my life and that's really not how it's supposed to be. Try not to sacrifice the things that your body needs and instead eliminate the things that do not serve you. Honestly, keeping a routine of waking up at 4 a.m. most mornings was a lot harder to do when I spent most nights watching television. Nowadays, I'm well rested and my daughter and I are in bed at the same time. When I wake up for my 4 a.m. morning workout, I have the energy needed to carry out the rest of my day. The very last thing that happened to me when I reduced television in my household was I saved money. Um, this too is another obvious thing. I canceled my subscriptions and saved about $50 um, this month just in television. You know, you're investing in somebody else's company, but what are you doing for yourself? Like how are you investing any time in you? They are banking off of our entertainment and us being slowed down because we're so sucked into these television shows. It's nice to have that sense of entertainment, but once you start relying on it way too much to avoid facing certain issues that you need to deal with or prolonging your situation that you know, you don't wanna be in, um, you don't have an excuse anymore. I have saved over an extra 50 bucks this month and if I keep it up, those 50 bucks can contribute to, you know, a nice investment in my savings account 
or we could actually spend that extra money on an extra special trip at the end of this year. Either one of these would be a great reward. It's something that keeps me motivated to keep going in this direction of just creating a healthier habit slash lifestyle. Thanks you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to this. I hope you found some sort of motivation or inspiration to help you or thrust you into the direction that you have been meaning to go. If you really enjoyed the content and you enjoy the direction that I'm taking you all in along my journey, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the L3 Tribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.